Let's write some more functions using the new power we've gained in Intermediate Student. First we'll start with a function that removes all of the even numbers from a list. Here's our signature, purpose, header, and examples. Now let's follow the template. In the empty case, we'll just produce empty. In the cons case, we need to check if the first element is even. Let's do that and add a conditional based on that information. If the first element is empty, we don't want to include it. We also want to include all the non-even numbers from the rest of the list. We can get that just by using remove even of rest of LON. We'll fill that in for the first dot dot dots. Otherwise, we do want to keep the first element. We also want to keep all the non-even elements of the rest of the list, which is exactly what remove even produces. So we need to have a list with both first of LON and whatever is in remove even of rest of LON. We can do that by combining first of LON together with the result on the rest using cons. All our tests passed. Now let's write a function that removes the odd numbers from a list. This is going to be so similar that I'm going to do it with copy and paste. What do we need to change? We need to change the name every place we wrote even and replace it with odd. And we need to fix our example. For removing the odd numbers, we get 6 and 8. Great. Now let's abstract from these two functions. First we'll put them side by side. Here's our two functions side by side. What are the differences? The only difference here is the odd question mark function in one and the even question mark function in the other. Let's follow our abstraction design recipe to produce an abstracted version. We need to add one input which we'll name kind. We'll replace even question mark with kind and we'll provide kind as an additional input to the recursive calls of which there are two. Now let's change the name of our function. Now we can think about what the signature for our function should be. What sort of operation is kind? It takes in a number, first of LON, and it produces a boolean. That's a perfectly good signature, and we'll write it here inside the signature for remove kind. Now we've written our signature for remove kind, and we're done creating the abstraction. Let's redefine remove odd using remove kind. The one thing we circled was odd question mark, so that's going to be the one extra input to remove kind. Here's our new definition for remove odd. Now let's redefine remove even. It works exactly the same, just with even question mark instead of odd question mark. Now when we run our program, all our tests will pass.